Tim, if you can't get excited about this, I'm not sure what you can get excited about. University of Delaware Athletic Director Chrissy Raywalk says this was one of her biggest goals since coming to Newark about eight years ago. Hey, hey. Moving the University of Delaware football team up to the FBS or Football Bowl subdivision, which is the highest tier of football that teams like Alabama, Georgia, and Penn State are in. Football and many other UD teams are joining Conference USA in 2025. Where we sit from a recruiting footprint, from the facilities I mentioned, the history, the fan base, uh, you know, this is a place that belongs at the FBS level. Oh, it's a significant deal, if you will. I mean, not just for athletics, but for the university and for our state and our community. Conference USA member schools are spread over a big part of the country. And while Delaware's current home in the Coastal Athletic Association has the majority of their games air on the Flow Sports app platform, they will get far more exposure in Conference USA. Once Delaware moves to Conference USA, more people in more places will be able to see their teams, their logo, and their branding. That's because Conference USA airs their sports on a platform millions of Americans already have on their TVs, phones, and tablets. It's ESPN. With ESPN and ESPN Plus and the opportunities that joining Conference USA provides to us, I mean, it's 40 times the number of viewers now for football and for basketball. I, I am overwhelmingly positive about this. I just think it's great. Russ leads the Blue Head and Touchdown Club, a nonprofit booster club here since the mid 1940s. He says this move to Conference USA will mean better attendance at all UD sporting events, more scholarships to help recruit higher level student athletes, more opportunities to bring in higher level out of conference teams to play in Newark, more money for local businesses from all these fans who will make the trip here, and it could further raise the university's national visibility for their academics. The lack of interest in the current product meaning the teams that we've been playing just isn't there. It's, there's not the interest. This will create a lot more interest. It's going to take a ton of work and a $5 million fee to the NCAA, but UD leaders seem to think this is the right time to gamble on themselves and go all in on their dreams for their athletic programs, including eventually having college game day come here to Newark. Honestly, that's been one of my uh, goals since I got here. Uh, college game day has not been to the state of Delaware. There's, I believe, five states that they haven't been to, Delaware being one of them. Conference USA doesn't have every sport UD offers, so there are still questions to be answered. We will continue to follow this story. In Newark, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.